The paramecium has been the biologist's classic example of simplicity. It is a tiny one-celled microorganism which careful study has revealed possesses a tremendous life potentiality. Some forms, under ideal conditions, reproduce every three hours. Fortunately for us, this process doesn't continue without interruption, and the didinium is one reason it doesn't. These little fellows eat paramecia. Though much smaller than their victims, they actually swallow them whole. Each didinium will eat at least six whole paramecia every day. But what would happen if the reproduction of one paramecium went on unhindered? If this process could continue for just five years, we would have enough paramecia to solidly pack all known space. And good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing Akira. Or Akira? I. Sorry, I don't know exactly. Um. It's. A game that kind of intrigued me just on its looks. As. I don't know, the premise was very... Oh, okay. Yeah, the premise was very... Weirdly generic, I guess. Uh... Yeah, you... Reading from the page itself... Um... You're... A disoriented researcher awakens on a mysterious train with no memory of how he got there. Head throbbing. A sense of unease grips you as you struggle to piece the events that led you to this unsettling place. Yeah, that's, uh... That's the premise. I'm pretty sure... Um, Akira, or whatever is the dev, and the game is actually called A Researcher Awakens. So, yeah. Okay. So we do have a flashlight. Supposedly, we have... Hello everyone. The New York City Police Department would like to remind you to keep your belongings in sight and stay aware of your surroundings. If you see something suspicious in the station or on the train, tell a police officer or an MTA employee. Thanks for riding with us. Okay. Um, as I was saying, we do have a mission button, but I guess I don't have a mission at the moment. And, as you can tell by the settings, or lack of, can't do anything there. Mm 
Wait, is that a person? No. Shit's getting creepy, though. Okay, seriously, what the hell is going on? Okay. You gotta love the warning. You know everything's fine and dandy when they're giving evacuation notices? You know, beautiful game and all, but I kind of like to play it a little. Okay, we're outside. Attention, operative. The research facility is in critical condition. All five generators scattered across the landscape must be reactivated to restore power and bring the facility online. Good luck. Okay, so this... Reactivate all five generators, find the Marshall... Main, sorry, main shell terminal. Restore power supply to research. Okay, can you leave my screen? There we go. Wow, this flashlight sucks. Um, I'm gonna head left. Seems like a good idea, I guess. And no, there was no run. There was only hobble. God. You know, a slightly stronger flashlight would be nice. I don't even think I can interact with shit. I think this is a very walk your ass from point A to point B and, uh, have fun. I mean, okay, if we're waking up with like a concussion, 
I guess it makes sense why we might not be able to run. We might be in a bit of shock still. Not thinking, a bit disoriented. I guess. Maybe through this door? Okay, hold on. Is this the main terminal then? Or what am I looking for? Generator wise. Because this place is creeping me the fuck out. But I mean, it does kind of look gorgeous. Okay, do I have an options? No, it's just there. That's nice. I don't... Oh god, I'm not going this way. It doesn't look like there's anything up here. Okay, I think those are the generators. The things, the tall owls with red. That might be the Marshall Station, or Terminal, whatever. So, okay, let's go off of that assumption. And hit up every red tower, and go from there. Oh, we got one back there, too. So one, two, three, four... Bye. Yeah, that looks like all of them. I wish... Sometimes games would be a little more clear on what is and isn't something you need. And here we go! <laughs> Another cutscene. Okay, so this one's good? But why is it flashing red? Okay, can't interact. Oh! Okay, I didn't know this. That was water. Um. Yeah, I ain't fucking swimming. That's how you die. So we'll walk our ass the long way around and go from there. Yeah, I I guess I only have two problems with this game so far. A, the walking speed's really slow. And B, the flashlight kind of sucks. Oh, I guess also that there's no options. Because I would definitely like to adjust some of the sounds.
Oh, I hope I don't have to walk my ass up back over there. Be creepy. Okay, so I think the stuff we're hearing is just auditory hallucinations from the very likely concussion that we have. Oh, I guess. I guess it would also be nice to have a visual cue on what we have and haven't done, because everything's just blinking red, and that doesn't tell me what I have and haven't done. Or what I need to do, I guess. But, um, yeah, that high-pitched sound, not fun for the ears, though, I am curious, are we here alone? Or is someone else here? Or was someone else here? I don't know how long we have. <laughs> 
they are getting closer. I'm sorry. Who? And what the actual fuck is going on? That either was aliens or friends being raptured. I hope this is an embankment. I mean, it's not like I can fucking see. Oh, it's shallow water. Uh, not so shallow. Motherfucker, I have to take the long way around. It made it look like I had to go this way to get to it. So yes, annoying. Oh no. I guess it's more annoying because you can't really run. I'm pretty sure I have to come back here. Yeah, we're pretty... I mean, we're pretty good on the objectives. I think it's more... I'm more curious on, like, piecing stuff together. Like, what the hell is actually going on, you know? Okay, let's see. There's the baby. There was the people. I'm being told to wake up. Which kind of gives me the indication this might be on my head. Okay, I can't go that way. Um... Because what? This is a research facility, and I'm the only one here? That's weird. So either something happened to everyone else, or I happened to everyone else. And I'm not gonna lie, neither are, to me, very likely. I think something else is going on. It is actually, I, okay, I will say, as far as I'm assuming one person did all this, it's actually really impressive. Though, a little bit more brightness would be nice. But, I suppose that's just me. I guess not just that, but maybe also an indicator of Oh, that's Morse code. Interesting. Yeah, I guess an indicator to tell me where I'm supposed to be going would be nice. Even if it's something you can turn on and off. Excellent work. We've activated all the power sources. Now, it's time to 
connect them to the main terminal and bring the system to life. Okay, I know where that is. I will just painstakingly cry and make my way back over. Can I? Now the question is, is there a shortcut? Oh, I'm gonna hate myself for this. Because it's there I need to go. I just... Okay, so there is a path, I guess. It's just really hard to see when you don't have a good flashlight. Okay, anyways, we're back here. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this game at the moment, you know? Because a part of me wants to say it's kind of cool, but there's nothing happening. And it's almost... And there's nothing to tell you it updated. And there's nothing to, like, do, you know? I like the premise, though. I just, I'm confused. Super confused. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, what the fuck just happened? Because we've seen a baby crying, or heard a baby crying. We've seen figures we're being told to wake up. We've seen... 
figures wrapped in light? And then, we were also told that they were coming, right? But who is they? Like, honestly, what's going on? For a game that... Honestly, there's very little interactivity or story or lore or anything. I'm... Uh, I'm having trouble saying that it was well done if I'm walking away confused. Granted, it also could just be me and someone else or the majority of people might be able to pick stuff together easier and have a semi-coherent or coherent story. I just personally need a little more than that. I don't know. I liked it. It was a cool experience. But... A game is more than just an experience, you know? It's... It's just... I don't know how to describe it, I guess. Like, I could go visit somewhere, right? Or see a picture of somewhere. Or see a painting of that place, you know? They're all experiences in their own way. But they're gonna feel very different, you know? Like, even... A picture, for example. It, it's an experience to look at it, but if I took the photo, it's not just the experience of looking at a photo, but it's everything that was going on at the time when I was taking the photo, you know? And remembering all that. But for someone else, it's just a photo, a really nice-looking, pretty photo of the place. But that's really it. They don't have any connection to it, you know? And it's kind of like this game. It's a really good experience, but there's nothing here to, like, connect with. Like, no story to connect with, no characters to connect with, no real gameplay to connect with. It's just pretty set piece and walking. And kind of walking in the. It's not dark, but it's very hard to see. It's not very bright, you know? So I don't know. Do I like it? Yes. Would I recommend it or ever play it again? No. Is it bizarre? 100%. Am I curious on what the devil is going to do going further? I guess that depends. It really depends on if they're just going to make experiences or if they're actually going to make games, you know? Because it, an experience game it's just kind of like this. You walk around, you see everything. And I guess this is kind of supposed to like creep you out a bit. And you're supposed to feel that feeling. But I want more substance, you know? Even silly little 15 minute, 10 minute games that are fun, not much story, but like you interact with everything and you. And they're basically a big joke. Honestly, those I like more than this. But again, it's just a personal thing. But yeah, I'm ranting. I get that. And half of this probably didn't make any sense to anyone other than me. I mean, me in the moment. Because if I ever come back to this, I'm going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But uh, yeah, I guess... That's it. So thank you for tuning into the frequency.
This is the Level Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.